The halls of Congress are paralysed by protests and passion as the vote draws nearer. Those senators who have not yet made up their mind are besieged by activists and reporters. Standing at the back of the lift here is Susan Collins, the Republican senator from Maine, who is under mounting pressure from both sides. Don't you wave your hand at me! Another Republican, a staunch backer of Judge Kavanaugh, was confronted as he tried to make his way past. You! When you grow up, When you grow up, he replied, and then dismissively waved them goodbye. On this vote, the yeas are 51, the noes are 49. Senators agreed by the narrowest of margins today to proceed to a climactic vote this weekend. At stake, where the Judge Kavanaugh, accused of an attempted rape when he was a teenager, makes it onto the Supreme Court. Democrats implored Republicans to find another nominee. For the sake of the Senate, of the Supreme Court, and of America, I hope, I pray, my colleagues will do so. Republicans insist this has become a vote to halt mob rule. What left-wing groups and their Democratic allies have done to Judge Kavanaugh isn't nothing short of monstrous. So the final vote will happen here in just over 24 hours' time. But the anger of activists and the political wounds on both sides are running quite exceptionally deep. Robert Moore, ITV News, Washington.